Namaste and a very, very good evening to all of you. I welcome you to my channel, The Outlier. My name is Mithun. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to use the Excel camera function. Even before I proceed to demonstrate what exactly is Excel camera, how do we enable this in Excel, may I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Let's begin by asking a fundamental question as to what exactly is the Excel camera feature. Excel camera function helps you capture a picture from Excel. You can either grab a picture from an existing table or dashboard and recreate that particular picture in a separate sheet. The next question is, when do we use Excel camera tools? Excel camera tools comes in handy in many situations. I like to draw your attention to three simple applications of Excel camera. The first being, Excel camera can be used when we create Excel dashboards. Secondly, Excel camera can also be used to create micro charts. Thirdly, Excel camera can be used when we are working with large data sets. Let me explain each of these applications. The first being, while creating Excel dashboard, we can go ahead and use the Excel camera. How, why, and where? While creating Excel dashboard, when we are creating any Excel dashboard, often it becomes very, very difficult to fit different charts and tables on a single page. This is where Excel camera feature comes to a rescue because Excel camera can be very, very useful as it helps you grab a picture of the chart or the data table and place it on the dashboard. This is the first application of Excel camera, which is we can use Excel camera while creating Excel dashboards. The second application would be to create micro charts. Excel camera tool can be used to create micro charts, which is nothing but a resized version of a regular chart. Finally, we can also use Excel camera when we are working with large data sets. Let's say you have a very complex data model where we, where the user can change values in sheet one and it calculates the values in sheet three. In this case, you can take a snapshot of the data in sheet three and see how it changes when you change the data in sheet one. So these are the three high level applications of Excel camera. Now to show you a small application of how we can enable Excel camera in your workbook. Secondly, how to use Excel camera. I have taken a small data set here. You can see this is the data set of monthly uh, sales distribution for different subcategories. You have 10 different subcategories, namely accessories, appliances, art, binders, and bookcases. Given that you have these subcategories spread across 12 different months, what we would like to do is we would like to show not all the 12 months. We want to grab only a portion of the data. Let us say your boss says, I want to see only the sales for first quarter and second quarter for the five subcategories. How do we do this? To do this, we would need Excel camera. In the ribbon that is present, Excel camera is not displayed. That's because the default features do not provide for this option. So the first step is to enable Excel camera. How do we enable this? Let me click on the file menu. In the file menu, the last option here is what is called as options. Let me go ahead and click on this particular option. Once I click on this particular option, you can see here, there is a new window that is being displayed, which is called as the Excel options window. In the canvas towards the left hand side, you have many different items. I will go ahead and choose the option customize ribbons. I repeat, I'm choosing the option customize ribbon. You have two sections here. One is the left side section and the second one is basically the section towards the right hand side. You can see here, choose commands from. Currently, what Excel is doing is it is displaying all the features 
which are part of the popular commands. Now, camera feature will not be available here. What we can do is we can go ahead and click on the drop down menu here. In this drop down menu, you have a whole lot of options. I like to draw your attention to the third item from the top, which is called as all commands. I repeat, the third option from the top is all commands. Let me go ahead and select all commands. Now, you can see here, there are a wide variety of options under the all, under the all commands option. Now, it's a bit difficult to locate the camera option. You can use the first letter that is C and move on to the first letter C here for you to locate the camera option. You can see here, this is the Excel camera option. So this is the real hero of today's video. We'll be looking at how we can enable Excel camera in the ribbon at the background. Also, we'll see how we can go ahead and use this. I've selected this particular feature, which is camera. And towards the right side, you have the main tabs. You have the home menu bar. You have the insert menu bar, page layout menu bar, so on and so forth. Under each of these menu bars, what you see is nothing but a group. We call this as a group precisely for the reason that this has a wide variety of options. Let me choose the option, let's say font. This is the group. When I select this, you can see all the items under the font section that comes under the larger umbrella of font. Now, where do I want to place the camera option? I want to place this in the home menu bar itself. How do I place this? To place this, you can see here, there are three options at the bottom. One is what is called as new tab. Second one is what is called as new group. And the third one is what is called as rename. I'll go ahead and select the second button here, which is called as new group. You can see here in the home menu bar, the last of the options is new group. I'm not happy with the name new group. So I would like to change this. How do I change this? Simply right click. The third option from the top that you see is rename option. You can go ahead and give your own customized name. Under the rename section, you can see there's a new dialog box which pops up. This is the rename dialog box. You can choose any of the symbols. I'll ignore the symbols here. And when it comes to display name, I'll give this as Excel Secrets. I can go ahead and hit the OK button. You can see here the new name is now getting displayed, which is Excel Secrets. With this, you're all set to enable Excel in your workbook. Make sure that you've selected camera and simply hit the add button. You can see here the camera option appears under the Excel secrets group option. I repeat, once you click on the add button, make sure that the camera option appears here under the Excel secrets. Now, this particular feature will be displayed henceforth every time you open a workbook. You're not able to see any changes at the background. So you're not able to see these changes because you've not clicked on the OK button. Once you click on the OK button, the camera option will be enabled. Let me go ahead and select the OK button. You can see here in the home menu bar, the last option is camera. So this particular feature is enabled in your Excel. This comes under the section of Excel secrets. Now, this is the end of the first part. In the first part, we have seen how we can enable Excel camera by going to Excel options. Now, let me just show you a tiny example of how to work with Excel camera. As the name itself suggests, it just helps you grab a picture from the existing worksheet. You can see here, there are five different subcategories. The first thing that you need to do is select the range of cells that you want to work on. 
I like to select the first five subcategories, namely accessories, appliances, art, binders, and bookcases. I want Excel camera to grab this particular picture. So first step when you're using Excel camera is select the range of cells. Now I can go ahead and click on the camera option. You can see here, camera option has been enabled and this has grabbed this as a picture. Camera option has grabbed this as a picture. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sheet. In this new sheet, I can simply paste the option. I don't think it has come now. Let me just go ahead and do this once again. Let me show this to you. Looks like I made a mistake in selecting. Let me select this particular option. These are the five subcategories that I wish to select. Now let me go ahead and click on the camera option. It has definitely grabbed the picture now. Let me now go to sheet two and paste the image. You can see here clearly the image is appearing now. So these are the five subcategories which I wanted to extract. So I've successfully extracted only a part of the table. Let me go back to the source data. Along with the subcategory, let's say my boss wants to see the first quarter information. So Jan, Feb, March is what I'll be selecting. And for the first five subcategories, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the range. So this is the range of cells that I want to select. Once you have selected this particular range, let me just do this again. Let me select again. Till binders, one, two, accessories, appliances, art, binders, as well as bookcases. Now we can go ahead and hit the camera button. You can see here, there's a dynamic selection that happens. Once you see, the borders being dynamic is an indication that Excel camera has successfully grabbed the picture of only the first quarter sales information for the first five subcategories. Now I'll go to sales two and paste this besides the existing subcategory of products. You can see here, this is the information that we have. It looks like a fresh table that you have created. Let me now go back to the source data, sheet one. I'm going to ignore April, May, June, July, August, September. Again, I wish to ignore. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the range for October, November, December for the first five subcategories, accessories, appliances, art, binders, and bookcases. Once you select the range, you can go ahead and click on the camera option. You can see here, this range has been selected. Let me go to sheet two and paste this particular feature here. You can always work on the resizing part at a later stage. Yes. So this is how the fresh table looks like. As the last part to this exercise, I'll go back to sheet one and also take the grand total. Select its range. Click on the camera button, sheet two, and here you can paste this particular option. Let me drag this. Yes. So this is what we have. Now this is acting like a new table. You can go ahead and perform any analysis on this selected portion, which Excel camera has grabbed as a picture. I slightly hesitate to use the word screenshot or picture because usually when we talk about screen uh, screenshot, it gives the impression that it cannot be edited. But this can be edited. Now, when you look at accessories, let's look at some of the numbers here. For accessories, the sales in the month of January is 1,36,418. It's a massive number. 
look at February, it is again 1 lakh 25,000. Here it is 2 lakh 66,000. Let us say you go back to sheet 1. When you inspect this very closely, let us suppose you observe a few errors. Let us say the sales in January has been erroneously entered there. Since you observed a few errors in the month of January, you would like to change it. Let's say I give it a smaller number, 120. For February, instead of having a big number, let's say since there is an error, you give it a smaller number of 200. And for March, it is 50. So this is what is the sales figure for Jan, February and March. Now, let's go back and see what is happening in sheet 2. You can see here. 120, 250. These are the new numbers that you're able to see. 120, 250. Earlier, you had really big numbers of 1 lakh plus. Now, because I went back to the source data and made changes here of 120, 250, the same changes you can observe in sheet 2, that is 120, 250. Which simply means that, though this is a picture, this is still linked to the source data set and any changes that you make in the source data set will be displayed by Excel here. And therefore, it's a bit difficult. I hesitate to call this as a picture or as a screenshot. But this is one small application of Excel, of Excel camera. I would encourage my audience to use this particular feature and let me know how it works. So with this, I have come to the end of today's video. In today's video, we just looked at how to enable Excel camera. We spoke about some of the important applications of Excel camera, like we can use Excel camera while creating Excel dashboards. We can also use this particular feature while creating microchart. And thirdly, we can use this when we are working with large data sets. So this is what I had in today's video. I request you to subscribe to my channel, also like and share my videos. Thank you very much for watching this particular video. Have a great day ahead.